That brings me to another question. When you were taken, was it your body or did they clone you? How did that happen? Great question. So I can only speculate because, you know, anybody that has surgery on their spleen does not know what happened in the surgery. And the whole process is just like that to me. I don't know what happened exactly, but I know that a surgery happened. So it makes sense to me because when I was taken originally, when I woke up in Inukern and went through the trauma, I had no memory of my mom or dad. I had no memory of, of where I came from. I had no memory of my sisters, Michigan, nothing. No, I woke up, I had amnesia and so, I went through. The, so what I'm thinking is they left your body there on the bed and then. It was a clone. Yeah. No, oh, no, they took me they they took alone. Me, they took me to a laboratory. And remember, he said he wanted to borrow my consciousness. I think that they make a clone, and I think the clone is like a vegetable. Uh, so I think that the clone, I think when you clone a human, it's not smart or it doesn't live long without the kind of spark of life. They, they call it spark of life. I think that's what the part they take out of you. I think they cloned you, put me into another one. I lived for 20 years. They put the clone back in time, they kill it. And the spark of life goes back into the body originally with no memory. So because I had no memory of my regular life in Michigan, when I woke up as a clone, lived for 20 years, all new memories. And then when I was put back, I woke up back in my body and I had no memory of the 20 years and I got all my memories back. So it doesn't well, make sense that they can put your memories. The back. other thing is that other, other uh, people that have come forward, the same testimony of doing a 20 back 20 tour, 20 year tour, are all have the same thing in common is that they, let's say they're taken when they're 20 years old and then they live until they're 40 years old and then they're taken back to their 20 year body and they don't have any memory of that 20 years, that 20 year tour. There are, everybody gets their memories after 20 years passes. So myself, it was in 2015, it was 35 years after or 33 years after. Everybody else has the same thing. Like the, the way the diagram works is that after it's all over with, that's when people tend to get their memories back if they're going to get their memories back. Yeah. I'll say something about, about this. Tony, when I was 10 years old, I know now because I have a regression, I have abducted. Very weird. And next day, I remember I write different. I, I was like another kid, not the same kid. I remember that. That's what it was like for me. I was never the same kid again, and I was completely different. In fact, in months after I was taken, my father would say it to me all the time, like, I want my son back. What happened? He's like, you're different. You're changing. I want my son back because I, was a, I had a different sense of humor. I was, I was a completely different person. Antonio, were you in Mexico when you were? Uh, yeah, when I you, was were in Mexico. you lived in Mexico? Okay. Yeah, and, and it, uh, I'm trying to tell this because you, I talked to you sometime, Laura, about my dreams. Mm -hmm. I had yeah. a dream like uh, saw some, some kind of craft on the sky and I was with other people. I don't know what kind of people and we ran to cover up. I don't know, always I have that kind of dream. I have some kind of implant in my, in my, in my spine. And after the doctor worked with that uh, uh, device in my spine, I started having some kind of weird visit right here in my house about uh, being some beings. And I have uh, everything I have uh, and, and, and recorded, you know. I have a lot of evidence about that that kind of thing, but please follow with the question. I, I, it's just to uh, to tell you something about maybe you not just happen in the United States, maybe happen in other countries too. In other countries, yeah. It happens everywhere. Okay, so the twenty they call it twenty year tour, whatever you want to call it, is a very popular thing for all species throughout the cosmos. It's life extension. Everybody wants to live longer than they naturally do. I mean, let's face it, that's the most important time. Alive is your most important asset. It's the most important thing. Advanced species have found different ways to live longer. And it's a it's a time, it's a life expansion technology. Okay. And it's one of the first things that gets traded with us. So when our government, let's say the Mexican government makes a secret space program or, or whoever, they're in charge. 
there is the I'm under, I understand there's a United Nations secret space program that all the countries at a certain level uh, have access to. That's one of the first things they get is that life extension technology, and then it comes with time travel. There's time dilation, and there are rules to it. So there are many rules. So it's everywhere. It's not just America. It's not just the United States. It's not just the Russians that are doing it. It's anybody that, that begins doing business on an interstellar level, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. there, are many, there are billions of civilizations that, have, that can fly from star to star that are smart. They're, and I call, they're all people. They're half, they're, they're like a human, they're like a bug or like a fish, whatever it is. There are billions and billions of them. Seven out of 10 stars has an earth around it. So on that scale, that's how, and they are all, once they get to the point where they can fly to another one and interact, they begin trading knowledge. And one of the first things that gets traded is the 20 and back technology, the life extension technology. That's one of the very first things because it can happen in an instant. The other thing is, I mean, how many people do you talk to that go through the same thing? Or an abduction experience? Yeah, I mean, you talk to lots of people, right? No, I'm, 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 I'm Well, what I've had a few thousand contact me and everybody has the same thing. I saw a ship, think about it. Here's your typical abduction is, I saw a ship, something happened and then the lights flickered and then I saw gray and then I don't know and then I woke up and it was a half hour later, and I don't know what happened. Kind of fuzzy. I don't know what happened. How often do you hear that story? I don't hear it that much, only because Hispanics were very, very, um, how to say, we don't like to talk about that. Right, Antonio? Yeah, they usually don't talk about that. They usually talk about, um, like, witchery. Um, that means, you know about the people we contact with uh, masters and all kind of thing. I don't believe in that because I think it's better, it's better uh, show some evidence uh, because you know, like in Mexico, too many people say, uh, I talk with, uh, I, have and I talk with somebody else, but they never show nothing, you know? No, and, yeah, yeah. They talk, and they just talk about the what's beautiful, the the craft, what's beautiful inside, and uh, I don't believe nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Or the, the my, my oh, experience yeah. is very different. Uh, right, there's a lot of different things, and uh, you know, people that are fragmented or had blanked, and some people I think just had something happen and they don't remember exactly what happened, and they kind of uh, exaggerate so they're thinking for the attention, or you know what I mean. Like, Everybody had something. I like to believe that everybody that comes forward has something happen, but they just get it wrong, like in the recalling of it. Um, but anyhow, the reason I ask that is because that's a common thing here in the United States. It's a common people. I saw an ET. There was a ship, and then I don't know what happened. Something. But I don't know. It's because they're taken for a long time and put so back, should, and their memories are erased. So you think usually when somebody sees a. Uh, uh, UFO or something like that, it's usually because something happened to them, probably. Yeah, Most because likely. they don't show themselves for no reason to anybody exactly. randomly. They just don't. They don't. There's no business that, you know, there's nobody needs to fly a UFO into my town here. There's and no just reason. Show you. There's nothing here that, right, to show you themselves. But when, by the time you see one, it's too late. Mm. Yeah, because only three days ago, me and my wife went outside in back patio, and and some craft, uh, you know, was over over my house and make like like three lights like this, like flashing, three flashing, and disappear. And we mm -hmm. caught it on 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 with two with two cameras, one 4K and the other one the Scion Scion. What is the name of, of the night vision camera, the new ones? Sionics. Yeah, Sionics. Sionics. Sionics camera. So we, we recorded with two cameras and, and we see when, when that crowd disappear. Disappear. Don't went up. Just disappear. And I have I the beat. They, the they jump. What is that? The, oh. the ship I worked on could jump. Oh. It could go instantly like to somewhere else. Yeah, it makes a like a wormhole and can jump to another one. And um, 
So to go from one star to another, they could it could jump. It was instant that it would go, and it was controlled by power output. So not every ship could jump immediately or as far. So depending on the power output was how far it could go. Like if you take the galaxy, only a certain amount of power could go all the way across it. Most ships had to, you know, we were on a cargo ship. We had to jump a couple times to get the other side of the galaxy because we had a smaller uh, uh, engine than than other ships, the battleships. So when they jump, do you think they open a portal or the light? What do you think it means, the light? It's a portal. It's a wormhole. Yeah, it's oh. a portal. So you think Absolutely. when the when the lights are blinking is probably when it's opening the portal or or? Yeah, it could be a warning. It could be right. Exactly. It's like a warning that, that there's about to, like, you know, the door is about to to open, kind yeah. of thing. That's what that is. Uh, you think that craft are from us or is from somebody else? It could be either or. There's no telling without seeing it. You know what I mean? Like you, you never know what you're looking at. When you're looking at a craft, you can look at one that looks exactly like ours, and it could be somebody else with a hologram around it. I mean, they can they can make it look. There's a lot of things. There are a lot of different levels of technology. Let's go. Like when you look at an airplane, the original airplanes are, can fly, right? The, the old propeller airplane in World War One, it can fly. And then you look at some of the planes nowadays, the difference of them, they're different levels of technology. It's the same exact thing. They do the same thing. It just flies. And so these craft are the same way. They can portal. Mm -hmm. But there are other more advanced ones that can look like something else and can portal. Do you get what I'm mean saying? Like there are different levels of advancement. And all the race throughout the cosmos, there are worlds at all different levels of advancement that are beyond out, that are above ours, that are, that are in that Actually, you know, in that group of, of beings that can come and visit us and interact with us. They're all at different levels of advancement, different reasons they show up, and there are billions and billions of them. Tony, about that craft, uh, I recorded one on, on uh, May 1st, 2014, over my house, but this craft was uh, uh, orange, orange, uh, all bright, like plasma, but looking like was breathing or something like breathing the 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 crowd like was breathing because I was you know uh, uh, on in my in my house o over a, a bed and I watching I was so there is uh, I've seen documents now I don't I haven't seen it for person in person but I've seen documents that say that there are um, the United States military has special forces helicopters that do that, that, that turn into a ball of light so that they can, you know what I mean? As a, as a camouflage, that it's a helicopter that has a ball of light and they can go down and, and, and these are special forces. These are special programs that are dealing with ETs. Like a, in other words, if there's a crash or an incident, they would, one of these would fly up and it's, it's a, probably not a helicopter, probably way more advanced than that, but basically it's a ball of light so that you can't see what it is. And it comes down and, and and follows up on what's going on. Or it could be a, a, an ET ship. It, it's a form of camouflage. When it's a ball of light, they're just camouflaging what it is. If you can't turn it invisible, just make a giant light around it. And you, no one can identify it. Makes sense because uh, after that, two people came to my house. And they get uh, my uh, hard disk, you know, portable hard disk with that, that kind of videos. And and they they say they they were working on Bell helicopter. Really? Yeah. They came. Hmm. They first they told me came from Mufon, you know Mufon. But oh. after that, they told me no. They 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 were working on 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 Bell helicopter. <laughs> yeah. So they they came well, and took his video. My, my 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 hard disk, you know, my portable hard disk with a lot of evidence from Mexico and from here. So they took it. They yeah, took I it. mean that's all right in the realm of like I said, a human pro, human based program. You you see what I'm saying? Like there are human based programs that are all that they have access to space flight, interstellar flight, and there are ET programs from elsewhere that are coming down here. So it's like. Go ahead, how, Laura. How, yeah, how would they know that he was recording them? That's what I don't understand. Like, 
they got to his house what within minutes uh antonio or no no okay uh, so next day next day next time they, but okay. they, how do they know okay Tell first me, off everything the 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 i'm sorry they were looking for the being i recorded on on the on the volcano they they, they were looking for that i don't understood drop something um every device connected to the internet is being monitored but he doesn't, he doesn't post it though he, he didn't post it or anything that's fine okay but for one for one every single device that's connected to the internet all of the information is being monitored all of it, it whether you post it or not whatever goes at every keystroke of your computer even when it's not connected as soon as it does connect to a wi-fi or there's one in range it gets taken by an ai okay for one for two when i was brought back to the moon from series when i was all done and they were putting me back they put they had there was a there was an et while they were putting me through a procedure that was watching the future of my life to see if I was going to remember. And what it was, was it was looking at probable futures and it's a thing called a chronovisor that, that, that can look at. So let's say that you had that, you had that video. Let's say I'm going to take, I, you know, I don't want to say you, but let's say you take a video of an ET and then you put it out there and people, it's actual evidence. They can see that that's going to happen. And you're talking about, remember I said, when you travel great space, you can also travel time. Mm -hmm. So the future of your video came out, they can go back in time to the day after you took it and come by and get your hard drive. That's how like they do it. Like looking glass? Yes, like, exactly. Like looking glass? Mm -hmm. Looking glass. It's a, it's a chronovisor. It's called chronovision. Chronovisor. Yeah. Look in the future and but in the, the past. Chronovisor was true. Yes, and they can send messages from themselves into the future and into the past too. The same way that, the same way that you chat or text, they can send a text or a message or a phone call into the future and into the back and say this is what happened their temporal abilities and you can understand why they would want to make that illegal or secret you can understand why they would want to keep that secret mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, yeah your video whatever you get whatever you that's why it hasn't been that's why people go where's the evidence well the evidence has been released millions of times but they just go back and squash it they go and erase it mm -hmm. okay. yeah <laughs> like they just erased one of your videos, right, Antonio? <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 yeah. It, I have I, I have a video like a beam manipulate you know you know like a beam uh, is is manipulate some kind of, of device like uh, make big and he disappear and the volcano. Hmm. Yeah, very very bright video. I have the original with me and everything, but it's like uh, nobody wanna see that. Right. The, the video. What, um, after we do the, the interview with Tony, maybe we can have another interview, Tony, with you, where uh, Antonio can talk to you about his experiences and all this stuff. <laughs> I'm working on a website for people to go. A lot of people contact me with memories that don't make sense to them of being taken or being, you know, things that we talk about. And then they see a video and they go, wow, I remember that happening to me. And so I'm working on a website that's going to have a lot of info, people to go and talk to about that. And um, I'll put a place on there for videos and evidence, too. I mean, uh, that makes a lot of sense, or at least be a, to put links to it, at least a place there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very weird, Tony, because you, maybe you don't believe me, but you didn't see the video. It's a, like a being, being like, look like gray, right, right, Laura? Like gray or it's something. gray, but it has it's little horns. Like sweater. But it's like playing with me. It's going out to the tree and come back and going and come back. Showing back. And, and hiding, showing and hiding. Because mm -hmm. I spent I spent months uh, around the vol volcano Popocatépetl. You know the Popocatépetl volcano in Mexico. Mm. The volcano. Is, 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 is I'm that, not yeah. That's where they've seen um, the the spaceships going into the, the into volcano. There. They just drop down. It's like uh, the Tic Tac, uh, Tic Tac um, video that we've been seeing yeah. around lately. Well, he filmed that. Uh, ¿En qué año lo filmó? 2012. 2012. I think there are a lot of places in South America, well, in Central America and South America, that have entrances to underground bases that are connected. Like once they get down there. Um, 
I know that we used to take cargo to um, the Catarina Mountains in mm -hmm. Brazil. Is that Brazil still? But Catarina, it was Cat the region called Catarina, and there was a mountain top that was way out where nobody was familiar, and there was a hologram that the mount at the top of the mountain, and we would fly into it, and there was a cavern where we would meet and drop off cargo with people that lived inside the Earth. Oh yeah, can you talk to us about that after the moon? Um, you did the three, uh, I guess, uh, when they were training you. Three missions on Mars, right? So what happened was, is that program was canceled. Mm -hmm. We're back on Mars now. So those hiking missions, and I woke up, they canceled that program, and I stayed there in that base for a couple months. And then I was taken, and they tested me to see, like, aptitude, to see what job I would be good at. Mm -hmm. And it was machine maintenance. It was uh, ship maintenance. And from there, I was sold to this from the Mars Colony Corporation to the Ceres Colony Corporation. Oh, okay. And put you, on another that sold. It was a trip. Say that again. You say sold? Sold. Yep. So like the military sold you. Or okay. traded. You can call it traded, whatever. Okay. Uh, okay.